So we have to simplify this expression. And then before we can simplify the expression, we have to do our recessive factorization before we can know our final result. So let's pick the numerator here. S squared plus X minus 6. So what you are going to do is that you are going to pick the coefficient of X squared, which is 1. And multiply it with minus 6. So you are going to get 1 times minus 6, you are going to get minus 6. So we are going to look out for two numbers that when we multiply, we are going to get minus 6. And when we add, we are going to get the coefficient of x, which is 1. And in this case, we can try that of minus 2 and 3. So minus 2 times 3 is going to give us minus 6. And when we add, we are going to get the coefficient of x, which is 1. So we can go ahead and use minus 2 and 3. So I'm going to fix them here. S squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6. Now you're having x and s are common over here. So you subtract. We factorize x out. We are going to get x into x minus 2. And then we can factorize 3 out here. Plus 3 into x minus 2. So we are going to combine x and then plus 3 over here so i'm going to get s plus 3 and then you choose one of the brackets s minus 2. always note that the expressions in the brackets are always the same if they differ means you've made a mistake somewhere so this is our answer i going to fix it over here so i'm going to get let me write it here x plus 3 into x minus 2. So let's move on to the numerator. x squared minus 3x plus 2. So this one, so we are going to pick the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, and multiply it with the constant 2. So 1 times 2, we are going to get 2. We are going to us for two numbers that when we multiply, we are going to get 2, and when we add, we are going to get minus 3. So we can turn out of minus 2 and minus 1. So minus 2 times minus 1, we are going to get 2, and when we add, we are going to get minus 3. Then we can use this one. So I'm going to fill them here s squared minus 2x minus x plus 2. Now you factorize s out, you are going to get x into x minus 2. Then we can factorize negative 1 out here because we want the bracket, what is in the bracket to be the same. Minus 1 into s minus 2. So you combine this and this, x minus 1 into x minus 2. So this will be our denominator, x minus 1 into x minus 2. Times the numerator here, we can factorize x out. So, when we do that, I want to get x out into x minus 1. And then this one is more like difference of 2 squared. So, you can write this as s plus 3, s minus 3. So, with this one, we can do our necessary considerations. We have having s plus 3 here and come for s plus 3 and then s minus 1 s minus 1 s minus 2 s minus 2 so we are left with x over s minus 3 and this will be our answer thank you for watching